Welcome to Charlotte Mason Practical Geometry. My name is Katie Thacker, and I am here with the authors of our course, Dr. Julie Ryle and Tabitha Warges. And we are going to talk a little bit about how the course is structured and some of the components that we have for families. So first, can you tell a little bit about how the course is set up? So Practical Geometry is typically done one day a week alongside your um, arithmetic lesson. So you'll be continuing to do arithmetic four days a week while you're adding that practical geometry in one day a week. And, and in doing that, that will give you an entire year's worth. It's 36 lessons, so once a week it will go for a year. Potentially, if you wanted to, you could do it where you just did practical geometry for 36 weeks, I suppose, if you wanted. Or you could use it um, if you wanted to take a break from your arithmetic lessons for a moment. I think. Long division gets really hard sometimes, or <laughs> multiplying to fractions. Dividing fractions is particularly one where I've had a few kids where they just need to take a break for a second. And so you could focus on your practical geometry lessons a little bit more for your math lessons then because you want to make sure you're having math <laughs> five days a week. Um, but if you do have to do something like that or you decide to tweak it like that, then you'll want to keep doing oral arithmetic, mental math a little bit to keep those review lessons going for their arithmetic so they don't forget that while you're doing practical geometry. So this course would work well with our Charlotte Mason Elementary Arithmetic Book 5, yes. which is designed to be about four days a week. So you could do four days a week of the elementary arithmetic program, and then on your fifth day, you could do the practical geometry lessons. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like if a family wanted to, you could do 36 straight lessons of doing practical geometry maybe as a summer math sure. thing to do or something like that. It could be, but it's designed to work really well with that yes. elementary arithmetic uh, program that we have. Yes. So one of the things that we've worked together on to produce for this course are some video components to go along with the book. So share a little bit about what we were going for when we did that. We just wanted to provide some something that you could look at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're building constructions, you're drawing things, you're using a compass and a straight edge, and your student's gonna be doing this. And sometimes it's just nice to have a visual way to be able to see what that was supposed to look like. And that's what the video components are for, so that you don't have to go find that just right video somewhere else in order to see what this looks like, or try to sit there on the weekend to try to figure it out before you sit down with your student. We wanted you to be able to just open and go <laughs> and use the book. And so when you get to a construction or a tip, which is what most of the videos are for, then you can see, oh, I could watch this really quick and see how it works. You definitely don't want to do it. Just watch it and then continue on in the book. You want to do whatever is happening in the videos. It's very important that your child is still doing the, the construction or the tip themselves uh, as they continue on. Yeah. Okay. So the videos are just tips to accompany the text. They are not the entirety of the course. Mm. It's not enough to just watch the videos. <laughs> the constructions are rather difficult to explain in words on a page, and it's, sometimes it's just much easier to see it done. And so these are great. You can watch them with your student and both see how this construction could be done. Um, some students may not need them, but it's there if, if it would help your family um, get through this geometry course. Wonderful. Okay, so it's something we definitely want to make sure that we are doing. We don't just watch and say, oh, yes. check, yes. finished. We want to physically sure. go through that process so we can experience it's, that. It's actually, if your child doesn't do it themselves, the construction themselves, they're about to be doing other exercises very quickly after that construction that depends upon knowing how to do that construction. So that con that construction that's done in the video is so that they can build on it. It's so they can take a second to just learn the construction and then do something with it. So they, they very much need to do it. Okay. But the doing of the construction is the narration. <laughs> it must be done. <laughs> and I'm glad that when we put together the book, we put some little video icons in there so that families know exactly where those video tips are going to appear in the course. Now, I know that when we were recording all of those constructions, there were a little bit of change as far as what the student may be experiencing versus what we did for video. Can you share a little bit about that? Just for clarity on the video, we used blank paper in our constructions, whereas your student will probably be working on grid paper. 
but we wanted the simplicity of the blank paper so that the construction was very clear for you. So don't be confused by the fact that, that you're working on a different type of paper. The constructions will sure. work exactly the same. Sure, sure. I mean, your student could use blank paper if you wanted them to, but you're going to want them to put it into their notebook by the end of the lesson. But if they feel uneasy about it or you have a student that's a perfectionist and they just want just the right thing in their math journal, then they could practice on the blank paper just like we're doing and follow along step by step. But by the end of the lesson, you're going to want them to redo it and put it into their notebook so that they have it to keep and can refer to. Now, for the math notebook, if a student is doing Charlotte Mason Elementary Arithmetic in the book five, for that, we also recommend a math notebook there, and we recommend one for practical geometry. Can a student use the same notebook for each and just go back and forth throughout the lessons, or do you recommend separate? Sure. I, it can be together. I think that's personal preference. So some students like to interweave. Some moms like to interweave and have arithmetic lessons with practical geometry lessons. Um, I, I like to put a tab in mine so that we can flip to the back half of the notebook for practical geometry and the front half for arithmetic. But I, I think that's personal preference. Sure, sure. I do a little technique in our home where um, the front half, same kind of deal where the back half is practical geometry, so the front half is arithmetic, and then we actually flip it over and turn it around, because it's grid paper, you can't tell what's upside down, and then we start that way go doing practical geometry. That's so a great it's idea. like a two-way book. <laughs> so, That'd be kind of a fun way, because you work your way towards yes, the middle, yes, and then they... It's, it's very like fun. The, so they have a lot the of... The railroads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so together. we do something like that, but I do have I do have kids, I've run into students before that like to use it more like a journal, and this is like this is what they did today and arithmetic and this is what they did in geometry today and they like to use it like a journal when that happens I do suggest like putting some washi tape on the edge of the paper or like highlighter on the edge of the paper just that you can see all my pink pages are practical geometry and That's all my blue tip. pages are arithmetic so you can find it a little <laughs> easier <laughs> And about how long are these lessons meant to be? So you're going to spend about 30 minutes on the lesson, and that's in its entirety. And it's built to where you are. Um, it's not like in a lesson, and then here are exercises you practice. The exercises are built in so that it's really guided discovery. Mm -hmm. And so it begins with review, and then uh, we move into some kind of captain idea and working through the lesson. They're working an exercise, making an observation, um, and at the end, we have a journaling prompt for them to, to put something into their notebook. Yes, yes. We assume that um, most students will be doing this with their parent right next to them. So that review can be something that the parent maybe reads to them or the student could read it and then answer it um, orally to the parents. Sometimes they might have to do a construction or draw something really quick, but usually it's something that they can just answer orally. Um, the parent could have the solution manual right there to know if that's the correct answer. <laughs> We're helping you out with that. We know that um, and they have a variety of answers that could come through. So if you just get those like components that are in the answer we give as an example, that's what you need as long as, I mean, I've got kids that will just give two words for answers, kind of, and some that'll give a whole paragraph, you know, and so we just try to give you the basic components in those answers, and then the parents would work alongside their students. We're hoping that parents would just want to do it with their students, you know, because I didn't get to do a practical geometry like this when I was going to school, and I assume most of um, other parents have not either, and so I totally think that they should join in, but, you know, practically, you know, we all have other things happening in our households <laughs> that's not always pr practical um, and so at least being there next to your child that you can help them as they're going through the reading and just seeing how they're doing as they're doing the exercises they might need some encouragement as they're trying to do these constructions so just to just let them know it's okay if it's not perfect and we can practice with it um, and things like that as you're helping them go through it and explore thank you so much for walking us through the course